thousands are being picked up from their homes in Holland, in France, in Lithuania, in Latvia, in Poland. In 1944, in the spring, Hungary decides to get rid of its Jews. With the help of 250 members of the Gestapo under Adolf Eichmann, 437,000 Jewish people, men, women, and children, in 53 days, are picked up from their homes, wound up in cattle cars, you know. Suddenly I'm separated from my grandfather and grandmother, my aunt, my ten year old cousin. They've marched with the majority of the people, 90% of them, towards those buildings with the chimneys and flames. I'm separated from them, my brother is. I needed a miracle, my friends, and that day, that morning at 11 o'clock, a miracle begins. The American Air Force, or the Army Air Force, as it was called then, is overhead. They're bombing the city of Weimar to send others around all day long, and I survive another day. But next morning, the guard disappeared. From 3 o'clock in the afternoon, two American soldiers walked into my house. for me to be able to speak to people about the events of those days. But it also gives me an opportunity to thank you. To thank the American Armed Forces, the men and women in uniform, who then and now stand ready to give all for freedom. Without those heroic men, I would not be standing. I would have been ashes.